guess what we're doing today i'm sure you probably already figured it out by the title of this video but miss shelby here has a birthday coming so we're gonna make cupcakes we're gonna make cupcakes but we thought since shelby is fairly picky and seems to like meat over everything else we thought we would try making some meat birthday cupcakes they're gonna have bison and turkey bacon and lean ground beef and i have a feeling she's gonna like these better than anything she's ever had in her whole life ever what do you think yeah <laughs> If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell to turn on all notifications. And if you want to see even more of our treat videos, including lots of different birthday treats, there will be single links up in the cards and down in the video description below. Let's get to making some birthday cupcakes. So this is something we haven't really done before, but we figured since, uh, you know, Shelby is a diva, we're going to try an all meat cupcake. And uh, we went a little bit crazy in the ingredients. <laughs> The first thing you're going to need is one pound of bison. Yes, Shelby is going to have bison cupcakes. Now, you don't have to use bison. You can really use any type of lean meat. We're gonna use about a pound and a half total. This is gonna make 12 cupcakes. So if you want, you can always make this a little bit smaller if, you're, if you don't have a bunch of dogs or you don't have a bunch of dogs coming over. Hi Memphis. Yeah, there's bison in there. There's real bison in there. We're also going to add a half a pound of lean ground beef. This is 96.4 lean ground beef. So you can do this with all lean turkey, all lean beef, a combination of a few things, but we are using bison. Get out of there. Get out of there. It's not your birthday. We're using bison and ground beef. So we're going to go ahead and mix these together just a little bit. What do you think? You want to try it? Shelby first because it's her birthday. Oh, is that good stuff? They've actually had bison before. Would you like to try it? Oh man, Oakley's like, whoa, wait, they're trying stuff in here? I'll totally come back for that. But I'm not sure how I feel about eating it off the spoon. Good stuff? So now that I have slightly mixed the meat together, we are going to add three quarters of a cup of oats. This is just gonna help hold everything together. And then we're also gonna add one egg. Again, just to kind of hold everything together. And if you've ever made meatballs before, you know mixing them with your hands works the best. I'm gonna mix it with a spoon a little bit and then we're gonna get right in there and get all gross. You wanna get all gross? Why don't you mix these with your paws? I don't think that's gonna work, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do it. So while I'm mixing this together, I also wanna note that you can add like carrots, or sweet potatoes or apples or other things to this but this is for Shelby's birthday and you guys know from watching the videos she's not a big fan of most of those things unless they have massive amounts of dip so we thought we'd go pretty much all meat this time also I don't think I mentioned it in the beginning but um, preheat your oven to 450 there will also be a link down in the video description below to our website which will have all of the ingredients and everything written out for you in case you need help with that so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our muffin tins and we are going to take some turkey bacon and we're going to go ahead and use them and make little muffin cups. Now, if you notice that it sticks up a little bit too high, what you can do is cut a little bit of the edge off and then you end up with a little bit less bacon and you can use that. Now it fits a little bit better. See how it fits in there a little bit better? and then take one of your excess pieces and go ahead and throw it on the bottom. You'll probably end up with a bunch of little bacon strips like this. You can go ahead and dice those up and mix them in with your meatball. It depends on what size muffin tins you use, whether or not the bacon's gonna fit correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to line the tins. So once we have all of the muffin tins aligned, we can then take some of our fun meatball stuff. And basically what you're gonna wanna do is Pull it out, make like a bowl. You can use an ice cream scooper. I didn't have one that was big enough for this. So what I'm basically gonna do is make a ball and then you wanna push it down into the muffin. Make sure it's squashed down in there pretty good. And then take a little bit and you kinda wanna make like a little dome on the top. So again, put it in a little ball and kinda just squish it on the top, make a little dome. You want the meat to be to the top of the turkey bacon. So kind of like that, so that when we frost it, it has a little bit of a, a dome. Oh yes, we're frosting these as well. <laughs> Whoa! You know Shelby likes dip. She loves frosting. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish filling these up. All right, 
Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. <laughs> so there we have it. You can see they have slightly rounded tops, not super rounded, but just slightly rounded, kind of like the top of a cupcake, because these are going to shrink just a little bit when we put them in the oven. Now we're going to go ahead and we are going to bake these at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then we got to pull them out, let them cool and frost them and do all that fun stuff. So it's going to be camera magic for you guys and it'll automatically be done. But uh, like I said before, if you want to check out more of our treat videos, links up in the cards down in the video description below, we're going to pop these in the oven. Somebody's excited. Are you excited? I think she's excited. All right, let's do it. Oh man, I just pulled them out of the oven. So you probably haven't actually started making yours because you're still watching this video, but they do puff up a little bit. You can see the couple that I didn't round the tops really, really well because I added a little bit more afterwards. So I would definitely make sure that you round the tops beforehand because those turn out a little bit better, but these are definitely going to work. Now they have to cool before we can decorate them. So while we are waiting for the cupcakes to cool, we're gonna make some frosting. And actually this is a super simple recipe. You can use just whipped cream cheese, plain whipped cream cheese, works pretty good. Um, it's pretty thin enough by itself, but we're gonna, excuse me, there's not even anything in the bowl and it's not your birthday. Get down, get down, wait your turn. <laughs> uh. Get down! Down. Down. All right. So anyway, we are going to take an entire container of whipped cream cheese. Shelby is like, I will just take all of that dip stuff, please. That would be amazing. Which I'm going to take two spoonfuls of yogurt. This is Sigis, Sigis, Icelandic style yogurt. It's kind of thick, which is why I like it. Um, but at the same time, it's going to thin this out just a little bit because I'm actually going to use a piping bag to put the frosting on them. Again, you don't have to. You can do it any way you want. So we're just going to take two spoonfuls of this and kind of just go like that. And then, of course, there's some left on the spoon. So here you go, birthday girl. Oh, man. Would you like some? Oh, my goodness. Oakley walked away. Come here, Oakley. Would you like some? Please like, yes, please. Oh, I'd love some. I know, Shelby. Here you go. It's your birthday. You lick it. That's that's not a lick. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and whip this together a little bit. Like I said, it's just going to make it a little bit thinner. So now you can see it is nice and whipped together. We're going to go ahead and put it in this piping bag and then go get the meat cupcakes. Would you stop? <laughs> so we can go ahead and frost them. This is also a good time if you wanted to add any coloring to the frosting itself. You could go ahead and do that, but we're actually going to use some of this color mist spray to just barely color the tops of the cupcakes. What do you think? I think so. Let's do it. So our meat cupcakes turned out pretty good. We got our frosting here. We're going to go ahead. I just had a little tip. I should have a bigger tip for this, but we're just, we're going to make it work. We're gonna go ahead and just decorate these with frosting. Okay. So we now have our little cupcake and it is frosted. I also have some little cupcake tins and this is just for, for photo purposes. Um, you guys don't actually need these, but I am actually gonna go ahead and set them in the little tins. And then just for fun, I have a little bit of the color spray and since purple is Shelby's color, we're just gonna color mist the top of it. So now it looks purple. We also have purple sprinkles, little star sprinkles. Yes, these are made of sugar, so they don't need a ton of them. Again, they're just for decoration on the photo. You don't have to do any of that part if you don't want to. And because it's Shelby's birthday, we have little crowns. Crown on the top of it here. Again, just a few and sprinkle them on here. And then there you have it. We have our little cupcake, birthday meat cupcake four dogs. We're going to go ahead and decorate the rest of these. And there we have it. Of course, I will take the candle out of it and blow the candle out before I give it to her. But we have birthday cupcakes for dogs. <laughs> now they get to try them. All right, birthday girl. Sit. <coughs> oh, I didn't say that yet. Speak. <coughs> yeah. You want this? Turn around. That's a jump. Turn around. All right, sit. Ready? 
Don't eat it too fast, okay? <laughs> I'm usually not worried about you eating things too fast, but uh, sometimes. You know, I brought the plate out here to make it easier so you didn't get it in the grass. She's like, forget the candy. Oh, she ate the candy. Is it good? All right. The candy is nice and crunchy. Apparently, like most people, you got to eat the topping first. Oh, there we go. Now the good stuff. She's like, I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, she got the bacon off the outside. Get the bacon off the outside. Oh, man. Is it good? That's the best cupcake I ever had. She's like, guys, this was delicious. And you get to eat it the day before your birthday. But don't worry, you'll get another one on your birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Happy birthday, Miss Shelby. All right, it is Miss Oakley's turn. Are you excited? I have a feeling she'll eat it really fast. Let's find out. Ready, set, go. Or maybe, or may, oh, maybe she won't. Or maybe she, she will do exactly what I thought she was going to do. Oh, she tried. She's like, oh, I can't chew this like I thought. Let me get all this frosting off. Get all that frosting off. There you go. Bite it into pieces. Good job. Good job. Is it good? Oakley says, it is a win. This is amazing. <laughs> And last but not least, Miss Memphis, can you speak? That's a jump. <laughs> can you speak? Speak. Ah. All right, okay, sit. Wait. You're gonna eat it so fast. Oh. Ah. This is like, oh yes. Let's see, you'll probably eat it faster than everybody else. Oh. Well, at least she's biting it into pieces. I almost cut hers up because of how fast she eats. You're going to have to lick all that frosting off of the ground. Good stuff. I think all the dogs really enjoyed this one. No one really seemed to have any complaints. Nobody left any behind. Well, that is all we have for today's fun treat video, you guys. As I said before, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell to turn on all notifications so you always know when we put up new videos. If you want to see more of our treat videos, there will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below. Shelby turns 11 years old on August the 8th. 11 years old, Shelby. You believe that? She doesn't act like she's 11, but she is actually 11 years old. <laughs> did you find a piece of candy in the grass? She did, I see the coloring. All right, you guys, as always, if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We will see you again soon. Oh, yeah. Side note. I should remind everybody, these are treats. These actually could be given to your dogs raw if you really want to. If you uh, do a lot of raw feeding, you could definitely do them raw. But we did choose to cook them this time around. They are treats, so they don't need them all the time. These girls actually got them instead of their dinner today. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Goodbye, guys.